Welcome to The Luka Project. In this episode, we'll be covering shot framing. Shot framing is essentially the concept of composition. In definition, it is the arrangement of the look of the shot, which involves positioning the camera and the subjects. It all begins when you're figuring out what type of shot you want to achieve. There is a wide range of styles in the shot list, but the most common basic shot list starts from wide shots to narrow close-ups. Let's start off with the stabbing shot. This shot is mainly used to present the setting of the scene. In movies, it is a common shot to show the landscapes and the geography. The master shot functions as the main central shot of the scene, often referred as a long shot. But think of the master as a canvas because there are more shots to utilize while it is filming the scene. The white shot captures the subjects at full body along with the area around them. Zooming a bit closer, you have the medium shot, which shows the subject from the waist up. This gives an equal presence between the subject and their surroundings. The medium close-up shows the subject from the chest up. This is suitable for capturing reactions without getting too close. Next is the close-up shot, which shows the subject's head or face. As you notice, the more we move closer in shots, we're finally able to see more of the subject's facial expression. Lastly, the extreme close-up. This shot is used to show a specific area of someone's face or certain objects that are important to the story. These are the most common and basic shots used in filmmaking. However, there are other shots that supplement framing. Shooting over the shoulder means that the camera is placed above and behind the back of a subject's head and shoulder. This is ideally used for conversation scenes between two or more characters in the shot, as it changes perspectives between them back and forth. As I mentioned in the last episode, you're treating your camera as if it's the audience point of view. With this shot type, it makes it seem like the viewer is in the film behind the character. Up next, we got two shots that contrast to each other, low angle and high angle. Shooting low angle means that the camera is positioned vertically low. Ideally, this is used to make a character look powerful or strong. On the other hand, shooting high angle means that the camera is vertically high. This is commonly used to make characters look weak or powerless. The point of view shot is the subject's perspective. In other words, the camera becomes the character's eyes. This is a good shot to fully connect the audience to the character by having their perspective just to see what they're going through in the scene. The insert shot is also known as the filled-in shot. Earlier, I said that the master shot is like a canvas. The role of shooting inserts is to show different aspects of the scene rather than have it played out by just one single shot. The shot list is an effective tool to have in the filmmaker's arsenal. The ability to frame visual elements is key when visualizing a story. 